How's it going, Modern Manual Therapy viewers? Dr. E here. Just want to give you another quick variation on the super popular lateral tibial glide to improve ankle dorsiflexion and knee stability. So, instead of stabilizing the forefoot with your body weight and gliding tibia laterally by abducting and externally rotating the hip, some people feel as if they can't get enough stabilization compared to how the therapist does it. So two variations are actually just crossing your legs and you can dorsiflex a little bit to further get a little bit of lock on the joint, pronate here, and now use your other thigh as a fulcrum. So you can do that or even more simply, you're just going to take your leg in a stance phase and just rock like this. So even rocking like this, you get a very similar effect of the lateral tibial glide. You don't necessarily need the stabilization. And you'll definitely notice that dorsiflexion flexion itself will feel quite a bit easier with just oscillations into pronation. If you have a loss of tibial internal rotation, you can do the same thing like that with the knee relatively straight compared to the inverted forefoot. So those are two, two quick variations. Try them out. Test, retest your dorsiflexion and knee single limb stance stability. Let me know in the comments how it works out for you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Modern Manual Therapy on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.